Hello everyone, this is Fide Master Carlos Mena once again for chesslessons.com. We will be analyzing game play online. We're going to be looking at same ideas we were analyzing in previous games. Once again, I play my favorite opening, knight f3, t5, taking the center, which is natural, g3. This is a very hyper modern setup. White is controlling the center but not occupying it. Uh, it might look like white is taking a passive attitude towards the center, but this view is very it's very dangerous because this might this might lead you to try to grab the center right away which is not the best idea in the world because if white cannot do it right away or, or if white prefers to delay it and not do it right away you should not try to do it if you're playing black to take the center so fast because instead of punishing the somehow passive attitude the white side is taking instead of punishing you will be punished yourself so d4 is an attempt to grab space in the center to support this pawn with c5 afterwards and control the whole center this is not a bad idea if you were prepared for it but you're not prepared for it because you have not developed your pieces you're moving the same pawn twice and you're going to suffer afterwards bishop g2 c5 e3 castle knight c6 e3 this is the way to punish this e3 you're taking on d4 you're undermining black's position in the center my opponent played knight f6 following a natural development pawn takes on d4 pawn takes and now c3 why c3 white is trying to open the position but why okay first at the beginning of the game white is up a tempo and by the by the by the moves d5 and d4 black lost an extra tempo so com comparing this to a regular game black is down two tempos and white is up so that's why when when you're more developed than your opponent you should open up the position because in an open field your more developed pieces will be stronger than in a closed game that's why c3 open up the center is crucial here after d3 queen a4 coordinating knight bishop and queen over the same point c6 there is a hidden threat which my opponent overlooked he play e6 and after knight e5 he realizes his knight on c6 is being attacked threefold and he doesn't have any weapon to stop it. He played bishop c5, which is a terrible move. Not after bishop takes on c6, pawn takes on c6, queen takes on c6, his bishop on c5 is gonna fall. He played bishop d7, queen c5, and white is up a piece after after rook c8 queen d6 my opponent resigned even though this is a very very short game there is a principle to learn about it it's like you should not try to punish a hyper modern strategy right away because you will be punished we come we come back to this point d4 is the region and the cause of every black's failure on this game. Thanks a lot. This is Carlos Mena for chesslessons.com.